guys, so this is number week three for my grocery haul. I went to Costco, Winco, and then I stopped at Grocery Outlet, and I stopped at Dollar Tree and got a couple things too. So this is my grocery haul. Uh, there's a couple more things, but I didn't put them out here because they're not Weight Watchers approved foods. They're things that I got from my husband. So I'll show you what I got. Um, I got this package of cherry tomatoes again. Um, these are all things that I bought last time I went to Costco and I ate all of it so I thought that I would stick with the same things. So I got the cherry tomatoes. I got two of these packages of raspberries because they were on sale for three dollars each at Costco. And I got the big thing of broccoli again, sugar snap peas, um, thing of grapes. I got two apples from uh, Winco, some green onions for something I'm going to make in the week. And then I got the Genio turkey bacon. It's one point for uh, one slice of the turkey bacon. I thought that'd be good to make uh, like BLTs or something. I've never tried it, so I'm hoping that it's good. Um, and then I got three pineapples. They were on sale at Costco for $2. So I got three of those. And then I got two things of the Sara Lee 45 calorie bread. A package of the fat-free cheese. It's one point for one slice. I got sugar-free chocolate syrup. If you watched my other video of it's a five-point Weight Watchers banana split, I just had regular chocolate syrup. This is sugar-free, which tastes pretty darn good, and it will make the banana split go from five points down to two points because this is zero points for two tablespoons. So the only thing that counts for the points on the banana split would be the ice cream. So I think that's pretty awesome. So I went ahead and bought that. One thing that I discovered is pork rinds. They are two points for um, one-sixth of this package. And I'm going to take that and divide it up into little baggies. So I make sure that I'm eating only the appropriate amount. I forgot how good pork rinds are. It sounds really gross, but they're actually pretty darn good. I got another package of uh, light sour cream to make some more of my ranch dip, which I got there. And then I got, I got, uh, how many did I get? 12, 12 cans of the white chicken and water, the 98% fat free. It's four points for this whole entire can. So I'm going to make up a container of chicken salad for sandwiches and stuff this week. Um, I got Smart Balance margarine. It has flaxseed oil in it. It's one point for one tablespoon. Um, grocery outlet had these soups on sale. The Progresso Vegetable Classics Hearty Panay. Um, so I got two of those. I've been eating every day for lunch a sandwich that's five points, turkey sandwich, and a half a can of soup. So that's two points. So I got a couple more of those. And this looks like a lot of yogurt. I like this kind, and it comes with, how many are in here? 24 are in this big box from Costco. I like those because I like to mix fruit with it in the morning, but these ones we got for my husband because he likes the fruity kinds, like this is a strawberry shortcake, and he got like creamsicle and banana split, and there's a key lime pie. So I like these ones because I can mix fruit with it. These ones don't taste as good if you mix fruit with it. Um, and then we've always wanted to try this quinoa. Um, it's four points for a half or a fourth of a cup. So I think we're going to try that with probably the hot sauce chicken that we're going to have for dinner later this week. I got another package of these corn tortillas. And then uh, two things of fat-free milk. We don't drink milk too often. But if you buy it in the carton, it lasts twice as long because if you buy it in a jug, the lights in the refrigerator make it go bad faster, so good to know. Um, I got some relish, and then I got these. They are just those rice, yeah, rice cakes. They're a point for each one. I got a cheese one and a cream cheese and chives, or sour cream and chives. And then I got Fiber One cereal. I'm going to use that for to bread my... Um, fish pieces in. It's two points for a half of a cup and it's full of fiber so I'm going to use that just add seasoning to it. And then Grocery Outlet had these smart ones on sale for a buck each. I've never tried these. 
but they're eight points for one, so I thought that with an apple and some carrots would be a good lunch. And then they also had these desserts. They came in a four pack. These were each $1.49. Um, so they're three points each, and they're brownie a la mode. So I'm going to try those too if I get a sweet tooth later in the week. So this is my grocery haul. I'm going to prep a couple things for the week, and I'll make another short video to show you just what I do to make it easier to grab things and go during the week so I can sleep in an extra 10-15 minutes if I need to. Alrighty, so this is week three for my grocery haul. I will see you guys later.